this video I will show you how to light and render uh, a gun in cycles. So first thing we should do is get in an HDR. So we will go to the world tab here and put in an environment texture. So shift Z, and we can see that we now have the HDR. And the next thing we'll do is put in some lamps. it and then move them down. And then we'll go back to these later. The first with the material we're gonna do is the biggest part, which is the rifle body. So I'm gonna go to this and I'm gonna drag it out and make a new window. I'm gonna go to the node editor to remove that, and then new. Alright, so shift A, and put in a glossy shader, mix shader, take this and put it into the mix shader, shift Z, and now you can see it's kind of glossy. Next we'll go with image texture, put the color into that one, and that one, open desktop, and then rifle, underscore wood, underscore red. And there's this. And then the next, next thing we'll do is add in the bump map for it. So we'll just shift D to duplicate that, drag it down here open it up and get in the rifle bump map and shift A search bump and then drag this to the height the normal to these two and that will give us the little design right here and right here and we can put it the strength value fine. And then we'll make that non-color data. And we'll sh duplicate this again. Drag this down. And then we'll add in a RGB curves. Take this, plug that into the roughness this, put that into the color, and then we will find, we'll just use this one, this metal roughness. And then we can tweak this, drag this down, up a bit, as you can see it starts to, starts to come out there, so play with this a bit more. A little bit more glossy. Kind of a polished wood look. So if you move them up, it gets more diffused, but if you move them down, it gets a lot more glossy. Like all the way down, it has like really hard edges but yeah 
we'll just make it smooth, kind of. Okay, that looks alright for now. And then the next part we will add in is a Fresnel or a Fresnel. So Shift A, search for that. Put this in right here. Just put it into the back there and change it to zero. And that that makes it look a lot better, but we're gonna have to go back here and tweak this a bit more. HDR. We're just gonna go back into the world. Maybe we can change the strength to three. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. Okay, we have the wood material. Now let's move on to the metal. So we'll start with this trigger box, or trigger protector, trigger guard. There we go. This is a new material. And then, same thing we did before, mix shader, put that in between there, glossy. center that right on there and we'll go here to the camera tab and we'll put transparent down in the film section drop down menu and we'll put it in like that and then we'll just render the border so we can only see what's inside of the camera and that's less stress on our graphics card Okay, now we're going to add in another image texture, we're going to open desktop, and we're going to use the metal roughness map again, non-color data, go down to the roughness, roughness here, and shift A, Fresnel. a lot darker. And, oh, okay, so just drag this out and add in the RGB curves. Just gonna get rid of that. Take this one and put it into the color. I mean, the roughness. <laughs> and we'll zoom in here drag this down, bring this down along with it, and we'll just shift B, just select that smaller area, maybe just one part of it, make these a lot darker. too bad. It's quite simple, but it works. <laughs> you can see the reflections from the HDR. 
around here. Seems a little, too, a little bit too much. Okay, so there's that. And then we can simply just we can simply just plug this in. That was the missing piece. Okay. Make sure you always have this in there. Like, make sure it's plugged in. Because that, for now, like, really helps a lot with the look. Okay, now that we made this, we can simply take this and do the exact same with all the rest of the pieces. Select this one, go down here, and just choose choose material zero zero one, and we'll just rename this to metal. You don't have to name them; it just helps to figure out which one is which. And we'll just select this body with that material and change it to wood. Select the trigger, and let's make that a different color. Let's make that a little bit brighter with gold. Actually, instead of gold, we'll just leave them normal. We'll select the trigger, make it its own material, name it trigger, and we will make this a lot brighter, make it kind of a goldish color. There, that looks alright. We'll select this right here. Material, metal, just like that. Select this one, and then metal. Right click on this. This one, we could use the metal note setup, but we want to make it look a bit less like metal, because nobody wants a metal recoil pad. So we'll just check this button, and then the only thing we would have to do is play with this. So we want it. Press 0, press N, lock camera to view, and drag it all the way over here. up, move it further down, so yeah, that looks okay, I guess. You can play with that more, how you like it.
just about done. So it looks kind of wet. So we can just we'll change those around. doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Alright, and now to render it, we can simply just walk the camera to view, shift V, select the whole area, unselect, on these bottom things right here, the sling holders, just give that a metal material. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so shift Z, press zero to go back into the camera view, and then shift Z. And that's that. You just set up your camera how you like it, and then press F12 to render that. And that would be it. You could also get these lamps, make them a bit stronger. So after you have everything, all your nodes set up, the main thing you'll be playing with is the RGB curves. Because that will determine most of your glossiness. This whole setup is important, but probably the most important part is the Fresnel. Because that just It looks really good with the edges and stuff. And I think that's it.